Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two single engine piston aircraft. First, the very famous Cessna 172, and next, the Technom P2010. Let's start with the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Cessna and most of the world consider the Cessna 172 the trainer of choice. The Cessna Skyhawk is the ultimate training aircraft and the most popular single engine aircraft ever built. With forgiving flight characteristics, great visibility, and a slow landing speed, and a forgiving stall, the Cessna Skyhawk is the flight training favorite ideally suited for student pilot. Next, the Technom P2010. The P-2010 is a high-wing, single-engine light aircraft of mixed metal and carbon fiber reinforced polymer construction. Designed and built in Italy, which was first presented to the public in April of 2011. Onto the power plant of these aircraft. Both aircraft are powered by Lycoming engines. The Cessna Skyhawk has a Lycoming IO360 L2A engine model with 180 horsepower. While the Technom P2010 has two engine options, we will be comparing the Lycoming IO360M1A engine model with 180 horsepower, since that is equal and similar to the Cessna 172. The other option being a Lycoming IO390 215 horsepower engine. They both have fixed pitch, two bladed propellers. In the cockpit, both aircraft are advanced. They are both equipped with the Garmin G1000 avionics. Next up is performance, but here is a quick disclaimer about the performance data. For the Cessna 172, performance data is based on standard conditions with zero wind. Field performance assumes a level hard surface and dry run rate. Range is based on a ferry mission with one pilot at 45% power with 45 minute reserves. And for the P2010, all estimated performance data are based on airplane weights at max takeoff weight, standard atmospheric conditions, level hard surface, and dry runway with no wind. We will start with the speed. The Cessna 172 has a max cruise speed of 124 knots and a stalled speed of 48 knots, while the P2010 has a max cruise speed of 134 knots and a stall speed of 52 knots. Onto range, the Cessna 172 has a maximum range of 640 nautical miles, while the P2010 can fly 591 nautical miles. Next, service ceiling. The Cessna 172 can fly up to 14,000 feet, while the P2010 can fly up to 12,000 feet. The Cessna 172 has a max rate of climb, of 730 feet per minute, while the P2010 has a rate of climb of 784 feet per minute. The Cessna 172 has a max takeoff weight of 2,550 pounds and a useful load of 878 pounds. The P2010 has a max takeoff weight of 2,557 pounds, just 7 pounds more, and a useful load of 893 pounds just 15 pounds more. In terms of runway requirements for these aircraft, the Cessna 172 requires 1,630 feet for takeoff and 1,335 feet for landing. And its takeoff run is 960 feet, while its landing run is 575 feet. The P-2010 requires 2,054 feet for takeoff and 1,709 feet for landing and its takeoff run is 1,365 feet, while its landing run is 778 feet. In all, these aircraft are pretty similar. They both have seating for four passengers, similar performance capabilities, and nearly identical max takeoff weight and useful loads. What are your thoughts on these aircraft? Have you ever seen or flown on either aircraft? If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.